We're now going to use the array command, which we have not used previously. We're going to make sure we select a polar array and select the object just like we did when we were making a mirror. Just draw a box from left to right. Right click to confirm you selected the objects you want and it says to specify the center point of the array. In this case, we want the center of this origin to be the center of our array and it estimates for us exactly how many we wanted. And there are ways that we could edit the number of items and what angle there would be between but uh, actually for right now this is exactly what we wanted. We wanted six and we wanted them spaced out equally just like it defaults to here. So let's hit enter and we're also going to create just a couple more things. Uh, this is supposed to be a gear and gears are driven so we need to make a keyway so that something could be inserted into the shaft of this gear and uh, turn it with some kind of rotary motion. So let's go back to our offset and again it doesn't matter what layer you're on when you're doing your offset it just offsets whatever. Uh, we want the keyway of this to be 0.36 inches wide and from the center line going up about 0.95 exactly 0.95 so to offset it we want to take half of 0.36 which is 0.13 I'll offset left and right side by 0.13 I'll repeat the offset for my 0.95 for the horizontal line going up and I will zoom in here and using my line command draw in where the keyway should be and trim off the pesky bits we don't want. So there's my keyway and the only thing left to do is to go back and add dimensions to all of this. Dimensions and center lines. I'll have this as an example in class of what the dimensions and center lines should look like and uh, We'll go ahead and move on to the next tutorial, which is going to be creating a viewport inside the title block and how we can print this out.